All right, Capricorn, see all the cards? All right. So it's possible that quickly you're exposed to how long you've stayed in a certain place, mindset, um, chap or chapter of your life even. And I would say that it's all about to change. Sorry about that. I don't know how that happened. Um, that's all about to change now. You have this golden moment, this this change, this shift happen. And you realize that love, dating, money, finding a new job, uh, toying with a new idea, you know, you know how to bring ideas to life. But then if you have your heart set on something, like many cardinal signs, You can want what you want. We have Venus moving into Gemini. And we had Venus move into Gemini. We also have Pluto and Aquarius. We have the eclipses changing. The nodes changing. The eclipse is happening. All this month we have Mars in Cancer. And what you what you can understand and take from this is that again this control you can't control what's happening it's happening you can either go with it and conjoin and come into union with this newfound way of life that's been talking to you for a while now and you'll probably meet someone through this experimentation someone who brings you a lot of awareness or a lot of insight just by being themselves maybe it's a new found relationship with someone you already know it doesn't have to just be romantic but because you can give so much there needs to be some kind of reception happening this this some type of transfer happen now there's this Virgo showing up here, but I want to touch on this Sagittarius. So, the lack of commitment or loyalty or sticking to the contract has happened time and time again, but for some reason you still hold on to that specific thing, that specific way of doing things. Now, it's, this time it's just you being stubborn. It could still happen that way, but why? What's the value? What do you gain from it? What does it, or what does it give you? Yeah, what does it give you? Same thing. What do you get from it? How many times has this, you know, turned, fallen upside down and turned out not to be what you thought it was? What it sounds like is, more than anything is not having the expectation being able to know and feel worthy of knowing that you don't know right now and you've been in that place before but not in this way it's okay that you don't know it's okay that someone else shows you what this is like you learning from someone or someone else's experience could be a huge thing you want to look back and reflect. And I think that's a good idea in order to move forward. I see that it will benefit you. That yes, you still have this innate worthiness and a an, uh, completely normal ego. But it's, but it's also this adventure. This knowing that nothing will happen to those cups. And if it, it does... Anything that leaves will come back to you. That's a spiritual concept. That's something real and used very widely in the physical world. You also can possibly, we have the, how funny is that now too? We have the aces and now we have two earth, earth signs. Some people call it sister signs. I don't really uh, use that term unless it's ruled by the same planet. So I'd say Aries, like uh, Aries and 
Scorpio. Sorry, I keep having cards fall, which is lame because it's like I'm actually sitting right now. Um, this person may make it very obvious and very clear to you uh, what they want and need. Or there's a very obvious discipline here that is giving you the confidence. This spiritual practice, perhaps. And that could be many things. But it's like a muscle. You know, you have to exercise these beliefs in order for them to get stronger. And that's probably one of my favorite lines I've ever said. And I'm sure people have said it before, but I don't know. It's hitting me different right now, and I hope it's hitting you. Because... You have no reason not to have confidence and faith in your life. Like, look at how much extra support is here. There could be a couple air signs involved, a Taurus specifically. But I think this is really just about you. About these different sides and parts of you coming together confidently, knowing that whatever is to evolve from here will be for you and for the best. And it will climb you up the existential, universal, unilateral, linear, I don't know, longitudinal. Now I'm just being silly. It will bring you all the, all the way there. It will exceed any corporate ladder that exists. And I think that's something that really, like these earth signs, this eight, um, queen of pentacles, bring you down to earth. And then you're able to let go. And then even more from this that you gain is ending here oh i will go we'll do a couple more because it feels a lot longer than it is it's pretty profound that there you will find from this that you, how much you will gain and how much opens up for you that those mountains are just as enticing as walking through that gate it's not just about surpassing everything and climbing up and getting to the top it's about how you come down from there how you stay from there where you go from there because anyone could reach the top and surely just fall the fuck down or they could just linger there not wanting to move ever until they get delusional because <laughs> we all have peaks and valleys you know i think this is that's another way of looking at that like you have the persistence, you have the momentum, you have the commitment, but it's what are you being persistent towards? Who are you becoming and what you want from that and what you're looking to get out of that and what expectations you have and what you can let go of if it doesn't work out or if things need to change. Because if you're so steady stuck on one thing and you're missing out, again, this has been said to me and many other signs, but there's some, there's some stubbornness here that if Again, if you bring it to Taurus season, it will just make it so apparent that you can't focus on anything else. Maybe that is what you need, perhaps, for some of you. But I do think that Venus and Gemini is giving this chance to just, like, play everything out, lay everything out, you know, shift and change without too much, because, like, there's not a lot of cups here, without too much emotion. You've, you've realized you just spent too much time hiding certain emotions and giving nothing, like giving nothing or giving yourself nothing and not knowing what to do with all of your emotions. And here you have maybe some really insightful wisdom from a figure in your life that you hold to a higher standard that may have a different outlook than you because you also benefit them. It's a mutual thing that person they could be a virgo have virgo placement placements or just be really that kind of person could be very spiritual could be a taurus like i said before but whatever has caused you to not want to even just question certain things even though they've been coming to your mind and certain you want to change things or certain things that you wanted to shift are coming to your mind and this in this particular, and I was talking to Sagittarius about this, and now these, I think, it could have been you too, but then that means those things are coming into your life because whatever's passing through your mind, so, there's some kind of connection there, right? There's some kind of connection to, I want these things, I want these traditional things, but you might not get them in the traditional way. 
I want these, I want to have this kind of success, but you may actually not do it in the traditional way. We, I think we're redefining some kind of tradition right now. And it doesn't mean you can't take what you've learned from the past, past lives, past from a long time ago and can't bring it forward and make it new again and make it something worth people's while, worth your while. Meaning it's meaningful, it's insightful, it gives to you, you give to it, it's this ever flowing abundance. And that's what you're going for now. And anything that doesn't matter, anything that doesn't respect the boundaries that you create from this and who doesn't, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You know how many people have doubted people like you? And what you're doing. Yet you succeed. And you don't have to go it alone this time. Look at how many people are willing to help and be a part of it. That's another thing. In life you will be alone. Always. Of course. You have you. But now you have the depth of the people. You have the strength of your people. You have the knowledge of your people. The intelligence of the people around you. It's not just you anymore. You've done all you can do alone. You know, maybe this is about more than just a singular relationship. This is about a group or multiple. Okay. I love you. And we'll see you next month. It seems far, but it's not, okay? You don't have to do it alone. There is balance and fairness coming your way. And you've already learned. Oh, how you've grown. Bars, bars, bars. <laughs> Love you.